So this week I thought I would take one of these simple little Dollar Tree pieces of furniture that have no finish on them and they're cheap and not very well made. I thought I'd show you one way to fix it up and make it look like a, a nice little piece of furniture for your dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how easy and fun this is to do. Alright, we're going to do this in short little bursts and because it's still really, really hot here, but I wanted to do something for you guys this week. I was at Dollar Tree yesterday and I saw these in with the toys. So for a dollar, you can get these cute little side table, little like you put in an entryway. And I thought, I want to show you guys one way to do these to make them look maybe not like an expensive piece of furniture, but they look okay. So we're going to start some simple sanding. Now I thought about this for a while today. How did I want to finish this? Well, if I wanted to take the time to really sand it and get this really smooth, I would probably do a different finish than I'm going to. And we might come back and visit these again. This is going to look like probably a piece of furniture that the people in your dollhouse bought, used, and kind of beat up. But that's okay, because, I mean, we all have those pieces. A lot of us do. Especially when you're first starting out, a lot of times you have some, you know, kind of ugly furniture in the house. So I've got some Ceram Coat in Burnt Sienna. It's a good basic color. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go. I thought about testing the paint out on the bottom, but then I thought, nah, we'll just do it together. My plan, I forgot to bring anything to put paint out in, so I'm having to work out of the bottle. And I'm going to have to find something. Ah, that'll work. Improvise. I'm not in my usual spot because it's really hot in that room. This room is slightly cooler as long as I don't leave the lights on too long. I'm trying to keep this paint a fairly light coat. I'm going with the grain. I'm thinking once I get all sides of that done. Paper towel. I kind of just Okay, now, the only problem with that is because, of course, they had glue. We'll just paint over the glue spots. There. Let's do the same thing on this end. Now, you could do, these would be really cute also if you want to do, like, a crackle finish. If you go back to my extreme aging video that I did the bench, that finish would look cute on a lot of these Dollar Tree pieces. This one I was kind of impressed with the fact that it's not finished at all, which makes it a lot easier for us to refinish it. You know, if it's got finish on it, those we have to take the finish off of, but there's absolutely no finish. If there's a finish on here, it is so thin, it might as well not be there. There. I'm just going to leave the little knobs in place. I may or may not paint them differently when I get to that point. I haven't decided. Need more paint. wipe this just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because this is not going to be perfect. It's a dollar store piece of furniture. 
This would be a great project if you want to do some dollhouse stuff with the kids. This would be a good one because they could paint it any way they want. I'm going to let this dry until it's completely dry, which, <laughs> as hot as it is, probably won't take all that long. When that's completely dry, I'll come back and we'll talk about the next step. All right, the paint is dry, and I decided we're going to try to paint the knobs with this gold. It's just an old bottle of gold Ceramicote paint. Oh, excuse me, in the 14 karat gold gleams. I, they still have a similar paint. I don't know if it's exactly like this because, as you can tell, this is ancient. That's what I love about ceramic coat paints. They do last a long time. I've got a really tiny, fairly stiff brush. And this is not going to be perfect. I prefer the ceramic coat, especially in the metallic paint because I, I find most of the other metallic paints, in my experience has been, the ones I've purchased have been very translucent. And the ceramic coat will actually cover in one coat. There. Um, all right. I'm just kind of turning it so I can get a better look at what I'm doing and I don't care if I get all the way to the back of the little knob I'd rather not get paint on the drawer f on the fake drawer front so if I don't get paint all the way to the back it's gonna blend in the fewer spots I get back on the drawer front the better alright now that needs to dry I got a few spots but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to wash my brush. When that paint dries, I am going to take this outside and I'm going to spray it with a clear, probably satin finish. And when that's dry, I'll come back and show you the finished result. Alright, so here is our finished little table. I think that turned out pretty cute. I think it's a big improvement from the before. And they are side by side since I bought two of them. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. Hopefully the weather will cool off here soon so I can do some more complicated projects. Be sure and check the blog post for any particulars that I think of putting into it. And I will talk to you later. Bye.